Hi, welcome to Church for Littles and happy Palm Sunday. Kids, today is the day we celebrate Palm Sunday. In just a little bit, Scruffy Puppy is going to come and tell us the Bible story about Palm Sunday. But you remember Scruffy Puppy. He always makes mistakes when he tells the Bible story. So we will listen to the story first and kids that way you can help scruffy puppy when he needs help telling the story also before we get started i just want to see if you remember this if you do say it with me this story is from the bible so we know that it's true, true. yes it's true let's listen to this true story about palm sunday As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of them on ahead. Go into that village over there, he told them. As soon as you enter it, you will see a young donkey tied there that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks, what are you doing? Just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. The two disciples left and found the colt standing in the street, tied outside the front door. As they were untying it, some bystanders demanded, What are you doing untying that colt? They said what Jesus had told them to say, and they were permitted to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it, and he sat on it. Many in the crowd spread their garments on the road ahead of him, and others spread leafy branches they had cut in the fields. Jesus was in the center of the procession, and the people all around him were shouting, Praise God! Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessings on the coming kingdom of our ancestor David! Praise God in highest heaven! Hi kids! I have a great story to share with you today. This is the story of what happened on Palm Sunday. As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of them on ahead. Go into that village over there, he told them. As soon as you enter, you will see a young puppy tied there. Scruffy puppy. Jesus didn't say there would be a puppy tied up. He didn't? No, he didn't. Kids, did Jesus say there would be a young puppy tied up? or a young donkey tied up. A young donkey. Yes. Oh, okay. As soon as you enter the village, you will see a young donkey tied there that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks, what are you doing? Just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. The two disciples left and found the puppy standing in the street tied outside. What? what? Scruffy puppy. It wasn't a puppy. Kids, can you remind Scruffy Puppy what the disciples found? Was it a puppy or was it a young donkey? A donkey. <laughs> right. It was a young donkey. Oh, okay. So they found the young donkey standing in the street. Tied outside the front door. As they were untying it, some bystanders demanded, What are you doing untying that colt? They said what Jesus had told them to say, and they were permitted to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it, and he sat on it. Many in their crowd spread their garments and puppy treats on the road ahead of him. Yay, puppy treats! Yay, what, what? Scrubby puppy, it wasn't puppy treats that the people spread in front of him. It wasn't, what was it then? Kids, was it puppy treats or was it palm branches that they laid on the ground and head and they waved it? Puppy treats or palm branches? What do you think? Palm branches. Yes, it was palm branches. Oh, okay. They spread leafy palm branches that they had cut in the fields. Jesus was in the center of the procession and the people all around him were shouting, Praise God! Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessings on the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Praise God in highest heaven. Yay! Wow, what an amazing morning. I agree. That was an amazing morning. Thanks for sharing the story with us, Scruffy Puppy. And kids, thanks for helping. 
For today's craft, we're going to make palm branches to remind us of when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. The people in Jesus' time used real palm branches from trees, but today we're going to use our hands. For this craft, you will need crayons, scissors, sticks or something else sturdy, something to draw or write with, tape, and paper. First, you'll want to trace your hands several times on a piece of paper. Then, color in all your hand tracing. Nice work! Cut out all your colored hands. You should have a big pile of colored and cut out hand tracings. Start fanning your hands out, making your pile as wide and tall as you can. And tape all your hand cutouts together. Then, tape your hands to your stick to make your palm branch. Have fun waving your palm branches and remember Palm Sunday when people celebrated and praised Jesus. Hi, boys and girls. We're going to be talking about singing praises to our God. When you praise somebody, you tell them that you think they are wonderful. They are great and strong. And so we're going to say how good it is to sing praises to our God. Psalm chapter 147, verse one. Let's remember to sing praises always to our God. And let's say our verse one more time. How good it is to sing praises to our God. Psalm 147 verse 1. Have a great week singing. Today's game, play some praise music and roll a ball with your friends or family. Or you can toss the ball with your friends or family. Let's review our memory verse, okay? Okay. Repeat after me. Okay. How good. How good. It is. It is. To sing. To sing. Praises to. Praises to. Our God. Our God. Psalm. Psalm. 147. 147. Verse 1. Good job. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And remember, I love Jesus, does he know? Have I ever told him so? Jesus likes to hear me say that I love him every day. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. In prayer I tell him so. We've had such a great time at Church for Littles today. We're going to close our time together by praying. Kids, pray with me. Hold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful true story from the Bible. Help us to remember to always praise and worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us at Church for Littles today. We'll see you next time.